yeah, it will be interesting to see. Uh, it will be nice to be able to watch some of our local teams again, but not having a live uh, crowd there would definitely dampen the, the whole experience, I'd say. The problem with the UFC is you hear the sounds now, you hear the shots, and it's, it's, it's sickening. Rugby would probably be similar, but like when we do the production, when rugby goes live, we've got to come up with something different. You know, we've got to mic up a few rugby players. I mean, Bucci. I mean, I know you, me and you have had a few good chats uh, on the rugby field whilst in the heat of battle. I once lost my mouth guard against the Sharks. So I got up, got a bit of treatment, and I was like, boy, someone's, someone's you know, basically stolen my mouth guard. Is that Newlands? And I'm running back, and I'm like, oh, please, can I fetch another mouth guard? And I've got one there. And the uh, next phase goes on, obviously now running around without the mouth guard. And as Butchie spots the fissure running like 10 meters up with the spare mouth guard, Butchie just takes it out of his sock. He says, there's your mouth guard. He stole my mouth guard. Yeah. Why did you steal his mouth guard? I tried it on, it didn't fit, so I thought I better give it back. <laughs> Cheap, man. No, I'll definitely get that. I've, found it on the, I've just found it on the floor. It, obviously, one of the rucks that had come out, or I don't know, you'd maybe fallen out of your sock, but... Yeah, I just picked it up and then, of course, they've all got our names on, so uh, and I you, just spotted your name. You were at least able to, to read the name. That's, that's a good, good start for you. Yeah.